Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss how to use Google Map inside Flow using LWC. And if you want to learn something new, so please watch this video until end and don't skip any kind of, you know, times of this video. And please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new. So let's get started without any further delay. If you are new in this channel, so you can subscribe the channel. You can like, share, comments. So based on your interest. Okay. So now just you have to do one thing. Just first of all, you have to create your LWC component and then we will use that LWC inside flow. Okay. So no need worry about any kind of, you know, third party API or API key using Google map. No, it's provided by the sales or by default. This is a default functionality. So we have to use it. So how to use it? Just you have to go to the, your VS code because I need to create one LWC component and here, just you have to do one thing here, LWC component. Let me create LWC component and name it anything as you want. Let's say flow, like flow LWC or LWC map, something like that. Enter it. Now you can see, just you have to do one thing here in my LWC flow, you have to design this one. Okay. So let me add the API decorator because I need some, you know, uh, public property. So that's why I'm using API. After that, you have to use like at the rate API, right? And then uh, like attribute. So attribute like street, city, country, title, description, something like that. So I need to add like a street, city, a state. You can add the state, otherwise leave it as it is. So right now I'm not using like a state. I'm using like country. You can use anywhere as you want this one. Okay. And uh, uh, title. I want to use like title as well. Let's say title and uh, at the rate API uh, description. Okay. So description, you can give like this. Sorry, description. And if, if you need to add, you know, like lots of things regarding this map, so you can add it. Otherwise, leave it as it is. So do one thing. Once you add this property, now you can use this property inside your, you know, xml file so let me open side by side this one so this is the xml file so you have to make it like as true like this and target lwc target and i need to use this one like flow screen let me remove everything from here this is extra you know comments so let me remove it like that if you need that uh, uh, flow or this lwc so you can use it like based on your need Okay, so once you added this one, now you have to do one thing in uh, your XML file. You have to add your XML file. So how to add the XML file? Let me show you here. So once you added this one, now you have to use your target config, right? So how to use this target config? Let me show you here. So first of all, you have to write like target, like target config. Under this target config, right? Please observe. This is a very most important. Under this target configs, we have targets target config so how to use target config very simple just you have to use like this tag here and after that target configs like this and targets uh, i want to use this one so just copy this target and remove everything from here right and after that property you have to give your property so first property like is straight and it's a string type label you can give like label like a straight, something like that, right? You you can give any label as you want. So based on your need. Description, no need worry about description, label, name, type and role. These are all four property very useful, right? So here and uh, uh, type, name, label is already done. Now it's time to use like role. So role, you can give like input only. So it's input only. Right. After that, this is an input only. You can use for the city and state. If we have like a state, so you can use for a state. So here we don't have any state. So we have country. So just here we can use for country. So you can use like country here, the country string type, country read only. Then title. So I can use title and this one. So we can change like title here and title. Okay. And the 
description. So just copy this description from here and go to this one and paste it here. Right. Just save this. Now immediately you can see here my uh, config file is ready. This XML metadata file is ready and we already make it like true. Now it's time to design your uh, this JS with functional. So under HTML, we have to add uh, one LWC, you know, um, map marker. So this is already defined. So you have to use it. So under the HTML, just we have to use like a lightning map, lightning hyper map. This is the pre-built component. You have to use it. Very simple, right? So how to use it? Very simple. Just you have to use like a, a map. So once you add like map, LWC map, now you can see the map, right? This one. So I don't want to take like center, not uh, hidden, mark, uh, map marker, I need map marker, title, if you want to give the title dynamically, you can give, uh, otherwise leave it as it is, on select mark, I want to remove it, all the things from here, just zoom level, we can use like 12, or any number as you want, right, so here, these all attributes of this one marker, like marker, zoom level, we already did, right? Now, after that, we have to add some, you know, uh, SLDS. So, how to use the SLDS? I need like margin around medium. So, just you have to use like a div or just do one thing like margin or just create the div here and wrap this one into the this div. And now it's time to add the SLDS. So let's say class here. I need to use like margin around medium. This one. So here you can see our HTML is done. Now it's time to use this one, this property. So just make markers. So let me copy this one, like map marker. Just paste it in JS, and it say like a get property. Under this get property, we can use uh, this uh, return because get always return the value so under the return we have this object location and location have this kind of property like history city country then title and description you can see here right and before that once you added this logic here after that you have to check your map is uh, like a uh, load is successfully or not so how to check very simple just you have to create like is visible and this uh, map is visible property so let me copy this one let me add this condition here like a template right so template i need to use this template under this template i want to move my whole logic right so this whole logic i want to move here so once you add it here right you have to give the condition so how to use the condition so lwc if this is the new one right so you have to use it so this conditional statement lwc if we have to paste this is visible okay so once we have this property as a true like is map visible then we have to display the map otherwise hidden the map okay so once you added these things all so just let me deploy this component let's say deploy this component to the org and once you deploy it now you have to create your you know or flow and under the flow we have to use this lwc so how to use that let me open my org and under the quick find just search like flow or this is the shortcut just click on this create and click on this flow so i already clicked clicked on this flow button and now you can see the flow builder screen is open here and after that you have to select your screen flow just click on this screen here and just click on this plus icon i want to add the screen and screen name let's say map uh, details something like that right and uh, here we have like address field this is a preview just drag and drop this here an api name let's say map data something like that map data okay so just you have to use this uh, address and once you enter this address let's say street city postal code state country then it's automatic visible your map using that custom component so by custom component you can select flow lwc map just drag and drop in the last and here we have to give let's say lwc component right 
and city you can use this map data and the city we have this one country map data and we have country description you can give the any description as you want but right now i'm giving let's say simple description as we have right so let's say demo something like that street we can use the street here you can see the street if it is available here you can see the street state we can add the state as we want okay but right now i'm using this one title you can give let's say uh rohit something like that click on this done click on this save button and you can add this let's say map flow something like this click on the save and once you save this flow now you have to execute this flow so just click on this run button and once you execute this run button here now you will be see your flow here right so it's asking like street city postal code state and country so let me add the street i have uh, you know new delhi airport address so i need to add this address here let's say um, city we can give like delhi postal code uh, we have this postal code let's say double one double zero three seven country india and state you can give any state let's say new delhi for now delhi and street you can give the street let's say h and this is a uh, you know uh, address of the airport so just six uh, h46 c plus this is a public address anyone can use okay so no restriction like here now immediately once you enter it immediately you can scroll here let's say this one like plus and here you can see the uh, airport here you can see right so the uh, here you can see this one and once you clicked on this location immediately you can see my title and description right you can uh, change this uh, you know uh, location and we can ch check another location okay so this is up to you so now here i want to give let's say uh, modipuram modipuram and uh, city merat i want to search this one and triple zero one and state uttar pradesh okay pradesh and india so once you open it now immediately you can see my you know uh, modipram location is coming here like this okay so here you can see these all things right so, uh, so this is the modipram so you can see mohit something like that right so here this is the uh, house okay so you can track or you know you can find out these all information about this google map so without any uh, key because salesforce already have this pre-built component right so inside this pre-built component uh, you can you leverage this functionality from lwc to flow and that is lightning hyphen map very easy and very useful for uh, to implement this google map in salesforce so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments and also subscribe the channel and also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any upcoming video notification and you will be get to know more about it and you will up to date these new technologies okay so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys